Hi, welcome to Shruti Lakshmi's virtual classroom. Today we're going to see how to divide decimals by decimals. There's a very simple procedure that we can use to make it so our divisor is not a decimal number. To do that, we just have to shift the decimal point in our divisor to the right until it's a whole number. But if we do that, we also have to shift the decimal point in our dividend to the same amount in the same direction, which is right. So let's see an example. Let's try 0 0.572 divided by 0 0.11. So here, 0 0.11 is our divisor and 0 0.572 is our dividend. So we have to shift the decimal point in our divisor, divisor to the right until it's a whole number. So let's shift it one time, one space, so it becomes 1.1. .1. It still isn't a whole number. So let's shift it again. So it becomes 11. So now our divisor has become a whole number. Well, how many spaces did we shift? Two spaces. So, we shift our decimal point in the dividend also two spaces. So, let's shift one space first. So, it becomes 5.72. Then we shift one more time. So, it becomes 57.2. So, in this case, we have shifted the decimal point in our divisor two spaces to the right so that makes our divisor 11 but remember we can only do that as long as we also shift the decimal point in our dividend by the same amount to the right which makes our dividend 57.2 if we do this new division problem we will get the exact same answer as we would have got if we divided 0 0.572 divided by 0 0.11 0 0.11 so let's do our new division problem which is 57.2 divided by 11 so 11 times since 5 is not divisible by 11 we put a 0. So 11 times 0 is 0. So we do 5 minus 0 which is 5. Next we bring down 7. Then we see 11 times what equals 57. Since 57 is not divisible by 11 we have to see which number that is divisible by 11 is close to 57. So, we, when we do 11 times 5, we get 55. So, we do 57 minus 55, which gives us 2. Next, we bring down the 2. But remember, until we are done with this division problem, ignore the decimal point. So, next we see 11 times what equals 22? 11 times 2 equals 22. So, 22 minus 22 is 0. There still has to be a decimal point in our answer. So, we shift this decimal point straight up to the answer line, which makes our answer 5.2. So, the quotient is 5.2. This only works because we shifted or moved the decimal point in both the divisor and the dividend by the same amount and the same direction. This works the same way as equivalent fractions. So let's see the fraction 1 half or 1 over 2. That is the same as 1 divided by 2. But what if we multiply both the top and bottom numbers by 10? That would give us 10 over 20 which is equal to one half even though they are different numbers because they are equivalent fractions. That's what we did in the division problem when we shifted or moved the decimal point in both the divisor and dividend by two places to the right. We basically multiplied each number by 100. 
Since fractions and decimals are almost the same, we made equivalent division problems. Except one of them has a divisor that is a whole number, and the other has a decimal one. Thanks for watching.